I messed up with my last recording a little bit. So there's a slight gap. Uh, one of the dangerous factions has actually declared war on us to increase council power. Since they are led by a Christian, we could raise the Holy Order over here and maintain them at no cost to us. They are currently fighting down here in the body of main of our main army. As well as, of course, our trusty, trusty Mamluks. I wish I could do something for them. Kind of reward them for all those centuries of help. And we are reinforcing our troops continuously. So far, the war is looking okay. And that's where we're at. Just want to destroy those rebels. And there we come of age as well, right in the midst of another war. And we are Midas touched. And we have Wolf's Blood. So we get one Marshal and two health. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Okay. Still wonder who we really are sometimes. Check. We want an ambition. What should we go for? We're not going to go for business. I think we are at war. We should go for war. It's not, it's not ideal. We'll probably go for business. Let's go for business. And we will forbid ourselves from leading troops. We're weak. It's it's not in our blood. We are kind and diligent. We are the epitome of the businessman. So we will try and groom an heir. Uh, let's marry our beloved betrothed. And... Let's get another designated region going. One of our kinsmen shall do it. Whose taster, as usual, is going to be someone who hates us as it is. And everyone else kind of gets a job they more or less are qualified for. Let's check our council. That's not the ideal council. Let's check our laws. Nothing we can change right now, but we definitely need to go... Uh, to the light of revocation thing. We need to be able to do that. So that was a successful campaign. We're going to siege their capital as a tradition. Uh, split our armies and continue the sieges up there. I think these will reinforce this army instead of walking all the way over. I don't I don't think these are actually involved in the war. They are involved in another war, but that's why they have their armies raised. Okay. Who do you want to marry? Some courtier. No, 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 no. First I need to check all my secondary wives myself here. So let's see. We want geniuses that are old enough to marry soon. Yeah, let's get her. She doesn't give us anything much. We want someone strong too. Is there... When it doesn't sort correctly, you have to sort for something else sometimes first. Okay. Let's get her. She's kind of young. That's preferable. And let's get someone quick. We just want a bunch of decent trades that we might draw upon. Uh, here. No political moves in that one. All for love. The love of beautiful women. This army going it's going the right way good okay as we can see we need to split and we will put them here we'll split this even further and put a lure army there they might attempt to jump on the smaller army plus we spread how much we can the siege at once And we will take down those ships. We don't need those anymore. Everyone is in the place they're supposed 
supposed to be in. From here on out, it's really mainly a question of not being silly. Um, right, also the arbor was finished. We have started on construction number two and we are almost completing our arbor office, giving us a plus 10% local tax modifier, which is fantastic because this is where we gain most of our money from anyway with all those holdings that we directly hold. Well, not most of our money, but if you check, a good amount of our money comes just out of that one county that we hold. So that's really good. It's a that's a sizable chunk of our income. And that's only going to get better. Okay, so an adventurer has also declared war on us. Fine. Question is where he's going to come from, because that might become an issue. Yeah, that's that's an army. An army coming there. So let's get some troops in here, some leaders in there that might help beat them back a little bit. Um right, how many troops have you left? Ten thousand. So I can leave these here. Those are fine. Consolidate the northern armies. Let's finish this siege here. And then we start moving north. Deal with this. I'll just let him come. We're going to lose it. That's no problem. But uh, we might kill a few people. So that's okay. Okay. Moon is high in the night sky. She casts a light over the lands, illuminating the night. I turn my gaze skyward, sensing a strange longing. My wolf's blood runs quicker. The moon beckons. I raise my voice in tribute to air. I'm not gonna make that sound. Right. We should be good. As I said, definitely to be expected to lose up here. No surprises there. Okay, we finished this siege, so we move this up. Move them here. And we're gonna finish this siege and move them over there. Because we want to siege the capital primarily. We didn't kill all that many. But it wasn't like we had a chance to move them away anyway. This army goes here as well. Immediately put everyone where they belong. Together. And over there we go. We have a direct route between these two, so it's all fine. If they suddenly appear out of nowhere, we are prepared. These guys have time to finish their siege. I have a feeling we're not even going to see his armies again. But currently we can easily get an overview of everything. Okay, we'll finish this siege. And then we go attack him. Is there a way into the county without crossing a river? That doesn't look like it. Maybe from here? What is this? Singer? From the south, we can attack him without crossing a river. They get all the good stuff in terms of leadership. All the great leaders. And you guys get what's left. All right, we've won against this silly little revolt. So what do we get? We imprison him. And thus ends this craziness. Send all our troops north now to deal with this. Let us allow to revoke titles. 
We'll pay the piety. And we will check our prison. Uh, we'll ransom you. You go free. And you, we revoke your title. Can I revoke all of them? That's the question. We're going to take Zinai first. Yeah, okay. We, we could revoke some of them, not all of them. We're able to revoke this. I have only some Christian rulers sitting around here. Which we can't demand to convert. So we will have to put a Muslim ruler down there. My half-brother. How much hate does he hate me for being half-brother? Very much. So he's not getting a title. That's not happening. Let's see. Do we have someone at court? A little boy or something? Good Muslim kid. Boy. Or should we give it to one of our commanders? Give it to one of our commanders. Why not? Final titles. Best one. Do you have children that can inherit? Not really. What's the next best commander we got? You got sons. That's good. You're brave but not ambitious. That's good. Okay, so he gets... Rama. And he also gets... Um... This. Okay, I see we have a few more titles we need to take care of. Uh, let's unpause real quick so some things stay, get taken care of. We need to clean up our realm, it looks like. We really need to clean up our realm. So what is this down here? What is all this? What's this? How does the Holy Roman Empire have something down here? Fine. Okay. Okay, we could revoke this. Do we want to? Nah, let's just... Let's see. Everyone who's in prison... Goes into the Oubliette. Everyone who has a rank goes into the Oubliette. Why? Because I don't want them to have a chance of getting out. Berlik of Irbil gets revoked. So no one objects because they are greatest anyway. Oh, Tortosa, that's, that's ours up here. We had that before, that was once ours, so now it's back in, in our hands. That's funny how these things go sometimes but we have some duchies i don't want galilee is ours tripoli fezan where's fezan okay grand lander title fezan that's what i want to give him there we go good don't want this galilee tripoli all the rest we'll just keep for now a mosque of tyrus we want to keep a mosque of Tyrus. I mean, apparently we can hold it. And it does give us a good amount of money, so we're just going to keep it. Why not? Do you have an heir? Yes, you do. 
That's okay. Our army is about to engage. All the leaders are in place that are supposed to be in place. Okay. We can take his duchy title from him because there is a condemnation against him for being utterly decadent. Oh, desert expert. That's nice. Uh, so what did we just take? We took... Another thing we don't want, this thing. Look. How is that English? Ow. Oh. And could you kindly also at peace so she can't religiously convert or i am not at peace someone is not at peace probably us when are we ever at peace okay no one will care if we imprison him Will anyone care if we imprison him? Nope. So we just need to throw our decadent relatives in prison, it seems like. All it takes. I must be at peace. I shall be at peace soon, I hope. Just need to deal with this insurrection. Let's stand down these. We don't need them. Either this army will be just fine in dealing with what we're facing. And we keep building up things. More camels. Yes, let's build a workshop. These sometimes turn out well, sometimes they don't. They're still fleeing. Where are they fleeing to? I hope they don't go to, like, to Kuwait or something. That would annoy me. they are coming back for more wonderful my wife is pregnant good start the building speed is really fantastic that's so fast can we build we want construction we want construction for the extended wards and the extensive hospital that's what we want we'll take that what else can we take infantry or cavalry each equipment i think we could need we use oh but this is more important that is more interesting here tolerance 
We don't need tolerance anymore. Legalism. Don't really need it. Well, the next two still help us a little bit. Religious customs don't help us. Anything we should go up in majesty. Really important. Uh, quite the boost. Let's go up in majesty. And maybe a bit in siege equipment. We're like sieges. Is we siege a lot. Should probably make sure that we can siege quickly on top of it. Alright, so first we go on Aj. Mecca. That done. We will make the travel more enjoyable. And onward to Mecca we go. Growth can marry. Yes, please. Thank you very much. The militia training grounds up. Castle walls. We are all equal before Allah. Certainly are. Okay, we're at peace now, so I can probably ask her to religiously convert. Like, can we get someone else to convert? Stop this silliness here. How much do you want to convert? Not a lot of gold. Maybe he'll take it and convert after. No. Where else do we have Christian rulers within our realm? I think that's them. We will listen to the old man and gain a bit of prestige. Lots of religious converting going on. We'll shout at every circuit. And we feel invigorated. Gain one health. Which I think is a permanent thing. We're done here. Nice. You convert also, please. Up with all the silliness. Okay, then. Don't want to send anyone into hiding. Our strong wife is pregnant. Okay, what do we need here? No vassals fighting and no count or hire doesn't like us. Who doesn't like us? Let's check. The vassals that hate us. Uh, it's just two. That's doable. We can deal with that. Both are strong vassals, so they just need a council position, which is easy. Do that most certainly. Here, have a council position. And where's the other one? What are you good at? Nothing. So you be good at... Well, not really good at that. And... No vassals are fighting each other. So who's fighting whom right now? I think... Who are the vassals fighting each other? There's an army moving. Who are you fighting? In France of Aquitaine. I 
I mean, he's technically my vassal. Stop fighting him. Does that work? Is that it? Yeah. All right. Very good. So now women can inherit and rule. And I can marry them matrilineally, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's get some more people of our... Oh. Right, that's that's amazing. I'm happy with that. And then next we can go up to note full status of women. So we could even get them to be fully just women. Or well, just women unless there's sons, I think something like that. But we've done something really amazing here. I'm happy with that.